this is Kim and Chris from the DIY Dish, and we're thrilled today to have with us three probably very familiar faces to you. These are the three gals behind Adorn It, which was formerly Carolee's Creations. We have Carolee, Georgiana, and Allison, <laughs> and we are so grateful that they would come and stop by to have a little interview with us on the blue couch here at um, the DIY Dish. And so today we wanted to be able to introduce to you some of the things that they have done, some of their current projects, and some of the things we can look forward to in the future. So welcome. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. us. Yeah, welcome. We're As you can probably tell, they, there's a little bit of a relationship <laughs> here. Tell us how you are all related. Well, I'm the mother. <laughs> and I'm the oldest daughter. And then I'm the middle, and then we have another sister who couldn't be here today, but we're a tight-knit family. Yeah, <laughs> tight-knit in many ways, including business. Yes. And you've been in the business for quite a long time, yes. but you first started by doing some toll painting. Tell us about that. Well, 25 years ago, as a young mother, Georgiana was only two years old, oh I had the opportunity to teach some girls painting, and where I had done painting in high school and college, it was a natural fit for me to do that craft of toll painting. Sure. And before I knew it, I was offered the opportunity to do pattern packets and toll painting books, and it began a career doing that and raising a family at the same time. And each one of the girls have um, been involved with me with the painting, and that's probably why they have such a creative side to them. Yeah, they Is grew up with They this. grew up watching Mother yeah. do little dots and painting <laughs> and, and coming out with her projects, the sure. photography that we'd have to do photo ops for the books and things yeah. like that. So they've been exposed to the crafting industry and gone to trade shows since they were big enough to start coming. Wow. Yeah. How exciting. Oh, a long time. We can tell lots of stories of stuffing <laughs> pattern packets <laughs> yeah. and sitting beside her and she's painting yes. things. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm yes. sure. And so then after the toll painting, how did it transition into what do you do now? Well, I was at a toll painting conference and some ladies from the Provo, Utah area, they had been to a LDS conference where they were doing a lot of family history. And they were looking for items to go with their photographs in their book to tell their family stories. And they were coming and buying our toll painting books and cutting apart these little paper um, cutout art pieces that I had. And they said, would you make these into stickers or into colored <laughs> paper? Because all we can find right now is office supply product from like Francis Meyer and mm -hmm. some other companies. Sure. And But there was nothing made specifically to go with photographs for them for scrapbooking. Yeah. So next thing I know, I'm like coming home telling my husband, well, <laughs> There's a group of ladies who want me to do something, <laughs> and can I take some money and invest in this new idea? And my father-in-law had passed away, and Georgiana and her grandmother were doing some scrapbooking. Uh -huh. And again, with more office supply type product. And so we said, oh, some of that stuff isn't very cute out there that they need to use. And so next thing I knew, I was drawing this fun moose and pine trees <laughs> and boots. My family camps a lot, yeah. so the first stuff I came out with had everything to do with camping and the outdoors. Oh, how fun. That's and great. then in the last year, you've now gone into the fabric side of things. Has that been a fun adventure for you guys? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. been really colorful and <laughs> just really inspi inspiring. Yeah. 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 Well, that's great. We, well, we love your fabric lines. We love your paper lines. Thank you. um, we've used them. We sell mm -hmm. them. Um, we and to have the two come together is really fun. I mean, yeah. there's so many different projects you can do, both fabric and paper related. Yeah. And, um, you know, remember when we did the, the book on our grandmother, mm -hmm. we were able to use both fabric and paper from your lines. And uh, the combination was fantastic. And you also design and manufacture your own fabric through Adorn It, correct? Yes. And so we've got this mm -hmm. vintage groove line. Um, I think this has to be one beautiful. of my favorite. I love the colors. I love uh, the patterns, and mm -hmm. it's been a real popular one. It definitely. really has. And then, of course, Thank those you. adorable owls you have. <laughs> We've got, let's see, oh, one fell over here. <laughs> We've got this little guy. He is so cute, and I love that you already have them in kits as well so that's really nice so people can find those at your website adornit.com correct yes. yes so tell us about some new projects you have going on what's in the works we always have new things in the works <laughs> <laughs> when something comes out then we're just so excited our next line that we're going to be coming out with is called pink dazzle 
I love it. And I love the name. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's of course definitely around pink. Yeah. But it has a a, a beautiful plum. It has some yellows, um, a little bit of like a, a black. So it has a little hint of of whatever a girl would need to decor her room. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna come out with paper again that will match. Mm -hmm. All of our fabric lines will have a coordinating paper line. Mm -hmm. So then that way, the crafter can take their papers or their fabrics and take it another level in their home decor. Perfect, and you don't let, let leave us crafters alone because you mm -hmm. always come out with project books to go with each new line as well, is yes. that right? I think yes. that's an asset that we've been doing for quite a while now, maybe eight years, uh -huh. and we're taking that same product type idea into the fabric, so then that way people can see how to use our actual product. Perfect. And when we were at Quilt Market, one of the things that I think a lot of people just absolutely fell in love with, I know that we did as well, was your new bug line. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, it's, it's just right now it, it come off the presses and we have all of the paper, we have the fabric and we're coming out with a new idea book that's going to be with that and we're going to have things that a mom can make for their little child like a cute little boy, little backpack. <laughs> we're going to have bug collectors items oh. so you can make your little bug catcher, a little jar holder so you can drop the little jar in so when you go out with your little kids in the summer sure. you're going to be able to go out and hunt for those fun little bugs and sure. make their little bug collection. <laughs> and not only that, you can go back, put it in the room Decorate by having pillows, uh, bedspreads. Oh, uh, you the, can do the cute cutest things on the wall. ever with the zigzag yes, going across. The Tammy Anderson. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. It's in the pattern book. It's darling. Yeah, it's yes, darling. absolutely well, cute. Well, thank you for joining us today. It was so fun to have you girls over here with our oh, blue couch you. segment <laughs> to find out more about their products, their um, their blog, their everything that's going on with the Adornit girls. Be sure to visit adornit.com. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you felt that creativity was served. Bye-bye. Thank you.